Hello, my dear. It looks like in our society there is a very dangerous disease. And uh, this disease is something about our self like a woman. It looks like we decided that in order to be strong and to be protected in this world, we need to behave ourselves like a man sometimes. But it's a big mistake, because naturally we are created by God like a woman. We are given the body of women. We are given mind, brains of women. We have different reactions. And unfortunately, when I meet with women who come to my diagnostic consultations, I see again and again the same problem. That she would like to try to find her inner self-confidence, her inner state of power, inner power. And unfortunately, she is trying to do it like a man do like trying to be masculine, trying to be very strict, direct. If the woman lose her femininity, this causes the problem, first of all, with her feminine health. The second, what suffers, her relationship. But please believe me, this is not the right way. We could combine, we could found the power as a woman inside us and to direct it to the way how to be successful in this life and to combine it and the level of our heart. Of course, inside we have all energies. We have seven chakras, and some of these chakras are more feminine, some of the chakras are more masculine. Masculine chakras, masculine energy inside us, they give us this willpower, this ability to act, to achieve purposes, and it's very good. From the other side, we have feminine chakras, which help us to be sensitive, to feel and share love, to be very creative and to create maybe something new in this life. How to combine both of this? How to balance our inner feminine state, part of energy, and our masculine? In this way, you will be protected in all several levels. Very often, when my students come to me, they ask uh, the question about their individuality, about their predestination, about who am I? And uh, this is because they are looking for their real, true purpose. You know that there are three levels of purposes in this life. The first level of purpose is the purpose of the nature. It's our physical level of purpose. And at this level we are the same, we are united with the whole nature. And what is the purpose of the nature? Of course, to continue to bring the birth to something that we are. And the next level of the purpose is the purpose of the society. What purposes society bring to you? Think a little bit. Maybe to earn money, maybe to be successful, maybe to build career. But these purposes also limit you. Why? Because they are more oriented, more focusing on your personality. The first level of purposes oriented to your body. The second level focusing on your personality. But there is something else inside us except body and personality. There is something that we call spirituality, spiritual, highest self, soul, spirit, as you want, you choose how to call it. But the thing is that at the level of our soul we also have spiritual purposes. And this is the third level. That's why many students of mine, they come and ask, please help me to find my real spiritual purpose and help me to balance all these purposes in my life. And I feel that this is one of my mission, to help you to find your purposes which will bring you satisfaction in all levels, in material, in spiritual, in the physical. I wait here.